Hello and welcome to this little video by Pro Detailer magazine. Today we are at UK Detailing and we've got a clever piece of technology uh, that young Ram of Colorlock here has come to show us. Now, a couple days ago, I got a very excitable phone call from Ram um, and I couldn't understand what it was. And it was like, hey, I've got this thing, I've got this thing. And I was, I was Ram, let's not talk about this thing. And then he revealed that it was in fact uh, an app that's at the beta testing stage. So we have got a sort of a sneak preview behind that's the correct, scenes. Yeah. Um, now, tell me, what does this app do? So um, uh, the app is designed for uh, professionals who are just starting out in leather repairs. Obviously, professionals who've been doing leather repairs for a long time can obviously use it, uh, but they might not need it as much. Uh, but it's designed with uh, newcomers or people who are new to leather repairs in mind. Uh, and what this does is it's got a database of all the car manufacturers uh, um, in there, mm -hmm. and it's got a, a collection of all the leather samples that um, Germany, uh, Color Lock Germany have, mm -hmm. uh, and we've now prepared formulations or recipes for each and every color, uh, which if you've got a, a scale, you would just be able to mix any color that you want. So you just need to be able to identify the interior trim for the car, mm -hmm. um, use our app, and you'd be able to mix the color. Bearing in mind, this won't get you 100% match um, every time, but it'll get you very, very close. So for people who are just starting out, what happens a lot of detailers usually tend to spend a lot of time mixing color, which can be not so productive, especially when you're doing a leather repair and you're not, you're not charging the customer as much. So you don't want to spend an awful lot of time just mixing the color and then another hour or so trying to do the repair. So this will just cut your time of mixing a color by at least 50 minutes. So, so if something it's... used to take you an hour, would now probably aim to get it down to about five to 10 minutes. And that's that's the key to it, is it's, it's designed for the professional user. So you get a customer car in uh, through the chassis number or registration plate, uh, you find out from the normally a, a dealer, you find out what color the leather is. You plug that into the app, which we're gonna demonstrate shortly. And then the app simply gives you like cooking instructions. All you need obviously is your scales and your full range of, of colors. There are what, 22? So colors, yep. Um, and then you can mix it. Whereas currently the way that it works is you can either send a sample off That's correct, um, yeah. and uh, Ram and his team will mix you something to that sample. Yep. Um, and uh, that is done by quite a few leather companies. I know there are quite a few offering yes, that sort of service. Yes, yeah. um, but this way, I'm pretty sure I haven't seen an app in um, for mixing colors sort of there yet really, I haven't seen Yeah, that. no, I don't think, I don't think uh, there, is, there is an app out there and, uh, and obviously the, the main aim of this app, uh, I have to say it is, is, is not to um, sort of, it, it's not gonna give you a 100% color match, but what it does do is, is get you very, very close. Um, something that used to take you know, 45, 50 minutes in trying to guess, it, it takes the guesswork out of mixing colors. It already points you in the right direction, gets you very, very close, and you then just have to adjust it or fine tune it a little bit just to get it that 100% match. So it does that 90% for you. And so you, as I say, you, you get the, the code from the, or rather the, the name of it. Yep. Um, and then you put that in, mix it all up, and then you will have a match, you'll be able to try it, and you can then tweak it and play around with it to allow A, for variations from the code, yep. uh, and B, from variation as a consequence of things like uh, fade from UV, um, or from perhaps previous treatments and stuff yep. where it's changed yep. slightly. Yep. So without further ado, um, do you want to start doing this? We've got a second camera that's looking at a, a Chromecraft, Chromecraft, Chromecast TV, which has got uh, a screen grab of what buttons you're pressing here. So we've got an app on your desktop. Yeah, so this is uh, an app. Uh, that's, the, that's the main page for the app. So mm -hmm. you're just gonna have to click on the main page here. And that gives you the complete list of all the car manufacturers that we've got here. Sure. Um, so all the way from um, sort of Alfa Romeo, uh, down to Volvo. There's obviously um, a few manufacturers. I was about to say, wh where's Subaru? Uh, <coughs> we don't have many samples of Subaru. Uh, I think you're probably one of the few people who drives Subaru with a leather interior, I think. Uh, but it's obviously not very happy when we, uh, when we mentioned that, but. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> you do all cars, but none of the good ones. Um, but this is beta testing. I am joking slightly because uh, Ram has promised on pain of death to, to make sure that Subaru is in on there. Um, but this is uh, in beta testing. So yep. all these sort of new samples of the cars will be gradually added bit by bit, um, both when um, the app goes properly live, but also when uh, obviously customers ask for that one and you've mixed it up so it's in your database. Yes, so we're, um, you know, we've just launched this app, um, um, you know, just, uh, I think it's been a, a week uh, since we've launched the app, but we're constantly looking to add more manufacturers on there as time goes on mm -hmm. and obviously make it available for various other uh, um, sort of platforms um, for it to be available to, to download and to use. 
basically. Gotcha. No, that's cool. And it also does work in portrait. We found it's just there's a scrolling thing which will be fiddled. So yeah. again, it's uh, in landscape rather. So there's lots of little bits and bobs, but that is the nature of software, I have to admit. I've got some experience in, in software and I know exactly what it's like. So mm -hmm. uh, now it's the hard work. But moving away from that side of things, um, we, uh, as I say, UK Detailing, Rich and Ian are working here currently on an Aston Martin DB7 V12, and I snapped a piece off it. Thankfully, it's Velcro, so it's easy to put back on again. And uh, what we decided to do was call Aston Martin with the details to get the information on what color was in the car. Yep. And then we went onto the database here, so you went into Aston Martin. There you are. Law of that. And we found that this car was Baltic Blue, so this is Aston Martin Baltic Blue. Um, and then Ram got uh, the recipe, so if you, you click through there. Yeah. So that just tells you what sort of uh, uh, measurements you want to mix. That size you want, and I think this is important as well, is if you're going, say if you're trying to produce, and it's the same with normal car paint, if you're yeah. trying to mix 100 grams of something, and then suddenly you want 500 grams, sometimes the recipe actually doesn't just sort of times by five. It's not always straightforward like that. Yeah. It's, it's proportion of product, rather, or proportion of different colors, rather than raw volumes. Yeah. So that's why this is really, really handy. You can't just pick 100 grams, times everything by 10, and expect it to be right for one kilogram. That's correct, yeah. So if you go to your measurement there. So in this case, if we go for 50 grams, uh, then that gives you uh, obviously the name of the brand, the name of the color, and obviously uh, uh, by weight, which color, uh, which colors that need to be. Uh, That's really precise, to a, to a tenth of a gram. Yeah, so going to double digits, so you, if, you, if you have a good, uh, good quality scale, um, mm -hmm. that gives you a 0.1 gram graduation. That should be good enough, uh, you know, to use. So you'd still get very, very accurate measurements on there. Brilliant. Um, anyway, what we did is we ma mixed up the color. And um, normally, when you're doing a sort of a leather repair with a color lock professional system, is you'd obviously strip back what's there before. You then put a base coat down. Yeah. Um, and then, or rather, a, an undercoat, I suppose, is, or primer. Yes, primer. primer. Yeah. So we we clean it first, degrease it, um, uh, prep the surface, get it ready for uh, spraying a layer of primer, then spray the color on and then um, seal it with top coats. So with top coat. However, for the purposes of this one, we've actually gone to the color lock DIY side because we've mixed the color, yeah. we've cleaned the leather, but we haven't sort of stripped it down and everything like that. Yeah. Um, and we've added, they've got a, a, where's your juicy solution? There you are. Here we go. So this is just like with touch up paint contains the lacquer in it already. This solution you add to your color and that basically blends, combines all the, what do you call them, fixes? Yeah, so this has got basically the, the binders and the top coats built into it. Um, so uh, once you add this to the paint, it, it allows you to apply the paint using a sponge. So it allows you to sponge the color on as opposed to uh, have it spray it. Uh, and it then becomes the... a one-part paint system as opposed to a, a three-part system gotcha. that we normally have. And so so um, in a sort of Blue Peter style, this is one that we've done earlier. Um, and we have been playing around. And I think one thing that Ram has been very fairly reiterating is that if you go to the formulation on the phone and you mix it as precisely as you can, does that guarantee a match? No, it doesn't. What it does guarantee is that you'll be in the ballpark. So when we had this, uh, initially we'd, we'd done some playing around and stuff like that and found that it was slightly off. You could certainly tell where you'd put the die, but it was pretty close. It was, it was as I say, in the ballpark. Then we actually mixed in this solution, which so happened to, almost yeah. by chance, I would imagine, yeah. by diluting the color slightly and sort of lightening it a little bit, yes. got it absolutely you know, really, really good. Yeah. And when it's side by side, you can tell it's there in certain lights, but it's pretty strong. But anyway, what I'm gonna do is give you that one, give you that one next to your drug dealer scales. And um, <laughs> if you squeeze some stuff right. into your doodah. I wanna get going, so I'll give while he's, a bit of a stir. While he's doing his stirring, uh, the other thing I wanna explain is there's another new product from Color Lock at the same time, which he's brought along here, which are called wet wipes. Now, I don't normally use wet wipes uh, because I'm an adult male um, and I don't have any children and stuff, but I'm told that they're really good. Um, and there's a bit of animosity on wet wipes, whether they kind of do a good job or anything. But I'm just having a go. They're okay for human use, right? Absolutely. Marvellous. Um, and the idea is that this has been impregnated with the mild cleaner, which did very well in the PBD Mega Test. Ooh, tangy. And um, as a consequence, you can get that solution in really easy to use wet wipes. And there are other ones in the market, Dr. Leather do one and stuff yep, like that. Yep. Um, and I know some people um, and, you know, in the industry also like, well, actually, there's very little product using this. So you're paying a lot for your paper rather than your product. But I think it's valid to say that convenience overrules that. Yes, convenience absolutely overrules that. So this could be used as, uh, you know, if you're a professional detailer and if you're doing maintenance details or quick details or something like that, uh, or even if you just want to wipe the surface clean just before you're carrying out a repair. That's ideal rather than having to sort of go through the full process. Spraying, brushing, um, rinsing, etc. Yeah, so that's, yeah. that's where it's very useful. No, so they're quite fun. So definitely added convenience. So you, you've done right. your, your, your rubbing. I've done that and I've just now you're going to get your gun out. on it. 
It's fascinating, when it goes on wet, it does look very different because it's got a gloss, and bear in mind the rest of the leather, because it's clean, is matte. Um, but now that you've done that, I would say that's pretty good. What I'm going to do, because obviously you've seen in a continuous stream we've been doing this, so you know there's no jiggery-pokery going on. Um, Matthew, would you like to do a little ding-dong on that? I'll try and keep it as steady as I can, but bear in mind I haven't had a drink yet. Can you see any difference on that, Matthew? Matthew's uh, twisting his head. That's cool. I was just checking it wasn't a twitch. Um, and I have to admit, I can just see that if I'm really, really trying, but uh, th that's me being a little bit cruel. I think that's, if the whole thing was there and you had two exactly the same next to each other. Absolutely, I yeah, I must say, I, I, am, I am also quite impressed with that, but um, I, hope, I hope every one of them <laughs> is just as good, but you know, I, I don't want to promise that. But having said that, look, I mean, this is, what, um, this is what we wanted to do. We wanted to get as close as possible with the app so that it can help people who are just starting out because this what we found is a major put off for people who are just starting out with leather repairs and if we can address that issue obviously it, it helps us as a, a as a business but we, we we get to do what we really want which is to get more people to repair repair leather gotcha. and i think that's a, an important sort of thing to, to mention really is that it's all very well i mean when it comes to being a professional at something so leather repair yeah you know one needs to do the training and one needs the experience but Absolutely. you you know you'd say that when by the time you're really good at leather you probably had a good few years of experience yeah and from a commercial point of view you can't say right i'm just going to take a couple of years out of my life to become really good at leather and then exactly. I'm going to start professional. Yeah. So what we're really looking for are tools uh, like such as the decent scales and the app and then the actual consumables and all the rest of it um, that work easily and well together so you can pick it up quickly and you can be able to offer it out Absolutely. quickly. Yeah. Um, and as long as quality doesn't suffer, I see no harm in that. I mean, I've seen, we've, we've done a shoot uh, up with Kevin Thurloway and that was, uh, we did a couple of months ago, it's going to come out Car Care Advent Adventures at some point in the, in the future. Um, and there he mixed it by eye and he's had a lot of experience he's very good at yeah it. kevin's uh kevin's a great guy he's been he's very skilled uh you know he's been doing it for a long time as well so mm. he's obviously he's got an eye for which color to use uh um, but a lot of the times when you're just starting out new uh, trying to guess which color to start with can can be daunting and you can end up spending a lot yeah. of time and that as we all know time so, is money and well even with kevin and i say his, his background is smart repairs and all sorts of paint stuff so yeah. he's really really engaged in this sort of thing really drilled in and, and you know top of his game but still it, it took a good 20 minutes or so of, of faffing about to get the color kind of right on yeah and you did this in um you know what about three or four minutes you managed to mix it yeah a lot, yeah so. uh, following the app just mixing the colors by weight that took about four or five minutes but then uh, if you do need to adjust it if you have done our training course you'll find that you probably need an extra five to ten minutes to, to, to get it to that 100% right. match that you're satisfied with so you can carry on and crack on with the repair. Cool. Yeah. So there is our little update. First of all, we've got the colour lock wipes, dead handy, dead useful, um, and I, I do quite like them. And, and actually the stinging stopped now, so that's all good. Um, and um, then we've got the app, which I think is really clever. And I think the uh, engagement of between the sort of IT, technical, geeky stuff that frankly I quite enjoy, um, mixing with good old fashioned skills like this is, is a really nice thing to see. Yeah. Um, and what I noticed, we've still got a cup of dye here. We've got an Aston Martin DB7. I know Rich and Ian have already gone to the pub, so... Um, we might just crack on with it. Yeah, in your own time. Absolutely. Absolutely, let's go. <laughs> Thank you for watching. See you in on.